In this video we're going to look at the periodic table and we're going to classify the elements into groups. And so as we go through these terms, I'm going to be checking them off. So the groups are the vertical columns on the periodic table. And so if I go over here, I can see that all of these elements are in the same vertical column. So all of these elements are in the same group and we call this group one. I can see that all of these elements are also in the same column, right? So all these elements are in the same group and we call this group two. I can continue labeling my groups. This would be group three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I go back up to here and I can see I have another vertical column. So group 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and finally 18. So that's one way to number your groups. There is another way to number your groups and that would be to say that group one is group 1A, group two is group 2A. And then kind of ignoring groups three through 12, continue on with your numbering system. So 1A, 2A, that would make this group 3A, group 4A, group 5A, group 6A, 7a and finally 8a and the second way of numbering your groups is useful when you're thinking about valence electrons and so let's move on to the concept of periods right so a period is a horizontal row on the periodic table and so if i look at period one and i just move across my my periodic table right hydrogen is in the first period and so is helium I move on to the second period, so lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. And so I can continue with numbering my periods. So this would be period three, four, five, and six. Now notice I don't have the entire periodic table um, on this video. Um, I didn't have enough room and we're not really going to talk about all of those elements